Good morning, everybody. This is Natalie, the Ginger Quilter. And today I'm hopping on, we are gonna do a full reveal of the 12 Days of Christmas box. And I know that it is after Christmas, it is January 8th, I think today. But I very strategically did not wanna reveal this before everybody had had a chance to receive it so that you could open it before Christmas if you wanted or if you received it for Christmas that you, I was not spoiling anything for you. So we are well past the um, 12 days of Christmas now and my kids are back in school. So I have a little bit of time and space to film this. And so that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, you guys might notice I'm filming in my workshop. Um, this is a new angle and I don't think it's gonna be permanent um, as like my filming angle. Eventually, I really wanna get a backdrop set up so I can always look like nice when I'm filming, but we don't have that done today, so this is where we're at. Um, you can see I've got some inventory shelves over here. We got mystery box stuff over here, and I got a treadmill, for, like a little mini walking pad treadmill for Christmas that's holding my coat right now. I have used it. It's not just a coat rack. We're not at that point. Don't worry. I just did need somewhere to put my coat. And a shop vac. So this is real life, the real shop. Um, maybe it's a little echoey. I apologize on that, but we're going to hop in. Okay, the 12 Days of Christmas box. This was a premium box that was separate from the Ginger Quilter box. And we sold these um, through from September to December till we sold out. So this is what it looks like. This beautiful box was designed by my friend Haley. Haley with Type Affiliated. So if you love, if you have any reason to need hand lettered anything designed, reach out to her. Or if you're interested in learning hand lettering, she also teaches it. So Type Affiliated, that's her. So she produced this gorgeous box. Just stunning. These, um, Ornaments were in the colors I asked her to do. Oh, they're just gorgeous. I love it. This was like a shining jewel. I, I love it so much. So when you opened it up, you received several brown paper packages. This was um, for a couple reasons. <clears throat> the um, last year was our first year doing the 12 Days of Christmas box. And we had some really complicated packaging. There was like little punch out windows for every product that were custom sized to fit that product. And it turned out to be kind of a nightmare. Um, things shifted, they were held in place. And um, anyway, all the feedback I got was, please simplify the packaging. So we answered, we did a gorgeous outside box, and then we put simple packages inside. Now, I did a little play on words, but I didn't really state it explicitly. Inside your box, you received a card. Oh, and I don't have one with me. I was gonna grab one, but it just said, these are a few of my favorite things. Um, because it's an advent box and you're opening, you know, one little gift every day, kind of a favorite things box. But the brown paper packages were supposed to be a little bit of a nod to the song. These are a few of my favorite things. The, Brown paper packages tied up with string. These are a few of my favorite things. I never actually stated that anywhere, but it was intentional. So if you caught that, kudos to you for knowing your Sound of Music references. And, um, and it was just supposed to be fun. So anyways, okay, let's get going. We have 12 products to get through and a, they're a lot of fun. So let's hop in. Okay, day one, I don't have these wrapped up. Um, I thought that would be noisy and distracting so I just have them unwrapped to show you guys so day one you received a kit for this cute little snowman this is a Melly and me pattern to make this and I actually made this snowman several years ago I made lots of them actually as gifts and I just remembered how fun it was how cute it was it's a fast little project so you received the pattern and then you received fabric to make it I didn't have a perfect little kit made up already so this fabric is the one you received for his body here. It's a sprinkle of red and green. And then you got red and green fabrics for his little felt 
mittens and his scarf and his earmuffs and things like that. So I just grabbed a red and green to show you. These weren't the fabrics that were used, but um, so you received a kit to make your cute little snowman buddy. And I actually, I started making one this year and I didn't finish it because I got too busy. So I have a little like faceless snowman. Maybe I should have brought it on. He's sitting in my office right now. I need to finish him for next year. Um, okay, so that was day one. I wanted to hit it off with a bang, with a cute kit you could work on around Christmas. And he doesn't even have to be Christmas. If you made him in blue, he'd be a really cute January snowman because we make snowmen all winter. So, okay, that was day one. Let's get on to day two. You received a charm pack. This was the Twas, this Twas, the charm pack. Um, Twas is a line that was released by Jill Howard for Riley Blake. It's so cute. So you got a charm pack and um, Jill Howard is known for her really charming animations. I guess illustrations, because they don't move. <laughs> so, but they're just so cute, and I wish I could get a better, like, here's a little mouse in a stocking. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And she really did a good job with Santa Claus, but here we go. All the ones are cut off. So there's cute Santa. She does really great fabric lines. She's done some fun ones of like fairy tales and like Anna Green Gables. And then she did the Santa Claus one that is so cute. So the Twas Charm Pack, these are a five by five pre-cut um, pack for you guys to do whatever you want with. So you got some kits, some just um, fabric to play with. That was day two. Day three was a really fun one. This was something I had custom made from my brain. It existed in my brain and then I, I found someone to make it and now it exists in real life. That's kind of, that is a really gratifying um, part of selling products. All right, so we have this charm. It's just a basic quilt charm, a basic quilt block in the form of a gold charm on a necklace. And I've got mine on right here. I didn't wanna give away the secret. So I, I know the camera is a little bit far away from me. You guys can see how that sits. It's very small. It's not meant to be really bold. Um, it's it's kind of like when you wear a t-shirt with your favorite movie quote on it. This is how I see it. That like the people who get it are gonna get it and you know they're in the club, right? If somebody looks at this and is like, oh, that's a quilt block, you're a quilter. It's cause they know, they're in the club. They, they're in the quilt insiders. Um, but if somebody just saw it and didn't know that it was a quilt block, then they just think, oh, pretty necklace, you know? So it's like kind of the secret quilters club necklace, right? So I wanted it a little bit minimalist. Um, so you felt like you could wear it every day, like you weren't hanging a, an entire like quilt around your neck to say, I'm a quilter, but that you could really enjoy um, this necklace. I do have some more of these. I will be listing them on the website probably today. Um, they're just, they're really nice. It's a nice um, quality. It's like a really shiny gold. Um, really, I was thrilled with how these turned out. Okay, that was day three. Day four was another product that was conjured up in my brain and then I had made. So it was these purple scissors. Now you guys, I did reveal these beforehand um, so a lot of you probably knew this was coming. These purple scissors are a lot of fun. They are a titanium coated scissor in this really cool purpley blue color. And then if you look really close, you can see my ginger quilter logo on there. Now, when, if you received these scissors and you felt like they were either too tight or too loose, let me explain. When we received them from the manufacturer, they were not tightened super well. They were really loose, and so I had some, one of my assistants go through and tighten them all so that you didn't get this like rattly pair of scissors. If she did not tighten them enough or did it too much, that's fine. Just get a flathead screwdriver and you can tighten those to your preference. Um, that way you don't feel like you're using somebody else's pair of scissors. Um, and if you feel like they need a good oil, I think you can just use any kind of oil on your scissors and those should be good to go. Like a machine oil. You could probably use your sewing machine oil if you have some of that. Look it up, okay? I'm not a scissor expert, but 
I know that if you oil them, they will move a little bit smoother and you might be happier with um, that. So those are my custom purple ginger quilter box pair of scissors. If you want a pair of these, I do have another order coming of these. Um, and they are, I don't know, a few weeks out. I, you know, you're dealing with overseas. You never really know when they're coming. But that was number four. Number five was another kit. So day five, you opened up everything you needed to make this beautiful fabric clock. So can you see the hands? They kind of blend in a little bit. And it is actually running. Can you see it? There it goes. I was very specific to get a non-ticking clock movement because ticking clocks drive me insane. I hate them. So this one is like a smooth, silent clock movement. So what, you're, what you got was this wooden board in the back. You got the little clock movement here, the hands to make your clock, and link, a little card that showed you how, like a link to a video to make the fabric clock kit. So this was a lot of fun. I've made two of them now. One of them was all purple. Um, hey Amy, thanks for hopping on and watching. Um, so anyway, this clock was super fun. I made two. Um, yeah, so you just use your scraps. You need like a, I'm trying to remember, it's like a four by nine scrap to really get one section. But I, I literally did not buy any fabric for this. It was all scraps and I am obsessed with how it turned out. I love how colorful it is. You could make it all shades of black and white. You could do all blues if you love blue. Just whatever you have a lot of, that's what you could make this from. So this kit was day five. Everything was included except your fabric because I wanted you to pick that. Um, okay. <sighs> I need to breathe for a second. Talking a lot. Okay, day six. This was a special one um, from my friend Amy, and she's the one who's in the comments right now, Wix Wax Candles. So Amy makes candles. This one is taped shut. Let's see if I can open it with my finger now. This was a special candle from my friend Amy who hand pours and hand makes all these candles. Now, I know a candle is not exactly the only for quilters, right? But I know that if you're like me, that you love yummy smelling candles for Christmas and your Christmas, you know, your sewing room could use a little sprucing or I know you love candles. Don't even pretend you don't pretend you don't love candles. So this candle was hand poured by Amy. This is a custom scent that she's made. It's called Christmas Splendor. It is a perfect mix of like the pininess of Christmas and the cinnamoniness of Christmas. I love it. It's so good. Ooh, that's really good. I need to Stop smelling that. But, so she is super talented at what she does, and this was just from my friend Amy, and she also has a coupon in here for you guys. If you wanna join her Candle of the Month Club, which I highly recommend, um, she has a coupon in there for you. So, that was day six. And thank you, Amy. She did a ton of those for us, and that was no small feat to ship those and make those, and she was awesome, so. All right, day seven. See if I can remember here. This was a bag that we had made for you. This bag I made, or I had made because I wanted it to be like your tool bag for a quilt retreat. <laughs> Does that make sense? So you have a little handle up here on top and it's about the right size for like your scissors and your rotary cutter. Let's make sure that's a closed rotary cutter. So you could put all your tools in here store them and then take them to a quilt retreat or to your mom's house or wherever you are sewing that day. Um, so anyway, it says fabric addict that's printed on there. It has a little brown carrying case and a nice little pull, um, zipper pull there. So these are just meant to be fun. Show off your love of fabric because I know you love fabric like I do. That was seven. Day eight was another one that we revealed beforehand. It is this adorable um, Christmas ornament, a little sewing machine Christmas ornament. Teal because everybody loves teal, a little mint color. And if you look real close, you can see like there's glitter, really fun. This is a glass ornament, so you know, don't, 
don't squash it on accident, but this was really fun. I just thought it was a perfect way to show off your love of quilting and sewing and how you probably spent the year. I know I like to buy Christmas ornaments from wherever we go on vacation because it's like, that's how we spent our year. That was a big event in the year. And I know that you spending like dozens and hundreds of hours sewing, that was a big event. Sorry, I was getting a call. <laughs> I don't want you guys to have to hear that. All right, so that was day eight was our ornament. That was revealed beforehand, but in case you missed it, it was our cute little Christmas um, sewing machine. Day nine was another, um, was another tool. So this is a cutting mat, a little mini cutting mat. And it's extra cool because it spins. Um, let's see if I can get it open. So you know when you're trimming, your, you're trimming your block and you need it to, you don't want to move your block. You can spin the mat so you can trim the other side of it. Instead of turning your block, you turn the mat. Um, so that is a really fun feature of this one. I'll show you that up, up here. Spin, see, it spins like that. And it also is in pink, which is, makes it even better. And it has the Ginger Quilter logo on there, which I was like super excited to find out I could get made. So, little spinning cutting mat. Again, this is gonna be really helpful if you are on a quilt retreat or traveling with your sewing machine. A little trimming station is super helpful so you don't have to like hike it over to, or like carry your big old fatty fat um, cutting mat but also you can just have it right next to your sewing uh, machine. You don't have to haul yourself over to the big cutting mat when you want to trim like a corner, you know? Okay, day 10, uh, we had some thread. Two spools of thread meant for piecing. And I don't know, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? It's piecing thread, it's really nice. I hope that will help you throughout the year as you sew your sewing, uh, your quilt blocks. Okay, we're getting close to the end. Is anybody like exhausted? I feel kind of exhausted. Um, Amy says, I love all the gizmo gadgets. How neat. Makes me want to sew. Well, come on board, Amy. We got gotcha. you. Amy is one of my business uh, friends that we belong to the coaching group um, together. So she's all candles. I'm all quilting. But we totally support each other's businesses. So, okay, so the, the day 11 came in an envelope. And the reason I'm not going to show you that is because it was a special gift card. Um, hey, Jonica, thanks for tuning in. That's another one of my friends. Um, well, you're all my friends, but this is one of my business uh, training friends. So, okay, so this envelope came and inside was a gift card. Now, this gift card is a special one. It's from Allison with Cluck Cluck Sew. She and I worked out how that you guys would be able to pick out two digital patterns from her library. And when I say that she has a big library of patterns, that's a huge understatement. Allison is like prolific with quilt pattern design. She is so talented. When I first started quilting, her quilt pattern was one of the first ones I did because my sister loved her so much. She said she's so good at like not wasting fabric, using up all the fabric that it requires. Because you know how frustrating it is when they like ask for a yard of fabric and you have a quarter yard left over and you're like, I didn't need to buy that much fabric. Now it's all wasted. I mean, we have scraps, but you get what I mean. Um, so Allison with Cluck Cluck Sew is so good at using all the fabric in her patterns. And they're amazingly written, super easy to follow. I just can't say enough good about Allison. She has great patterns. I've sent several in the Ginger Quilter box because they're great patterns. So in this pretty little pink envelope, you received a gift card for two of her digital patterns um, that you got to choose. So um, that was kind of a choose your own adventure um, gift right there. Okay, that was 11. So here we go, drum roll, day 12. We had the beautiful Ginger Quilter box. No, just Ginger Quilter. I can't remember what I wrote on it. Um, Tumblr. So do you guys, <laughs> Have you guys followed the Stanley craze like right now with the Valentine's mugs? Like there's people getting trampled in Target. Like it's a Tickle Me Elmo, but it's a Stanley mug. Um, these are not a Stanley mug, but they are a mug 
like unto Stanley. So um, it has a quilt block here, and it has the ginger quilter written right here. So you can also rep your love of quilting as you carry your, your drink everywhere you go. Um, <laughs> tickle me, Elmo. <laughs> Jonica. Um, so uh, I'm also, speaking of tumblers, I've seen these funny memes of men, or I'm sorry, reels. They'll be carrying a garbage can with like a stick holding out of it and saying that um, it, that's what it looks like when women carry around these big mugs because they're huge, right? And I just love how bright this pink turned out. There is actually water in here. This reminds me to drink things other than Diet Coke. Um, so if you look closely, oh no, I don't have a Diet Coke in the frame. I thought I did, <laughs> but this is full of water. This is better for you than Diet Coke. Um, Ashley, can I get one of those? Yes, I do have a few extras that I will list in my shop and um, I need to get on list, I need to be on listing duty, don't I? There's anything extra that I have from these boxes, I will be listing in the shop and I'll try and get those done later today. We've got mystery boxes going out today and then hopefully listing those products in the shop. So the necklace, the tumbler, the fabric addict bag, um, anything extra is going in the shop, so you can buy those individually. Um, okay, we did it. That was 12 days of the Ginger Quilter box. No, the Christmas box from the Ginger Quilter. <laughs> that was not my subscription box, but all of that, can you believe it? It all fit in this box. It was a work of art to get it to fit in the box, but we did it. Um, so I hope that you guys if you received the box, I hope you felt like it was a fun surprise every day to open for you. If you did not receive the box, don't worry. It's coming again in 2024. There, I said it. I'm going to do it. Um, so anyway, I will probably start a wait list. I've had a few people ask me already if they could get on the wait list. And um, I just don't have that set up yet. So I'll probably start up a wait list. So just everybody can stay informed, but don't worry, it's coming again in 2024, and um, if you have any suggestions of products you'd like to see in the, the next year, let me know. I'm, I don't have anything in mind yet, so. Um, okay, well that was it. Thanks everybody for watching with me and for tuning in, um, and if you, receive, if you did order a mystery box, those are shipping out today, and I guess that's everything. Thanks everyone, we'll talk to you soon. Toodaloo!